Okay, hello again. This time we are having a look at Law 5 of the Exponential Laws. Law 4 I skipped because Law 4 simply said that negative exponents means divide. So we've already dealt um, well with negative exponents. So I'm going to skip to Law 5 that says when a power, okay, now remember what a power is. A power is what we call a base and an exponent. Together they're called a power. When a power has, let's rather say, is raised, is raised to a power. Okay, now to be raised to a power means that you have a uh, exponent is raised to a power in other words here's my power and I give it a power in other words my power becomes the base and itself gets another power, uh, exponent the exponents the exponents may be multiplied Okay, the exponents may be multiplied. So in other words, this one, power to a power, we multiply the exponent. So this becomes b to the power of f times e or f, uh, e times f. Obviously, multiplication order doesn't matter. Okay, so why is this true? Okay, it's not too difficult to show you the proof and you'll see the proof follows the same idea that we've been doing all the while just using the definition that b to the power of e means or let's first take b to the power of f means I am multiplying whatever's in front here which is a 1 which I don't need to write but b to the power e is multiplying this one not once maybe twice it depends on what f is okay however many times I am multiplying with that f times okay with me so far so in other words this to the power of f means I've got f number of factors each factor b to the power of e so now what I have is I've got a bunch of bases all same bases and what I'm allowed to do now is to multiply when I multiply same basis I can add up the exponents so now I have e plus e plus and how many times am I adding up the e's well as many as there were bases and that was f basis so I'm adding this f times okay <coughs> So what answer do I get when I add something f times? Sorry about that. Okay. Well, it's f times e. So b, e plus e plus e, f times is f times e. And that's exactly what we have right here. That's how I get from here to there. So very, very basic. And I can do a few examples for you. Let's go for w to the power of 5 all raised to the power 2 and this will become w 10 because 2 times 5 gives me 10 of course you could have gone from this step and you could have said well this is w 5 times w 5 that would have been fine as well and then when you do that you can say well w uh, times w when I have same basis I can add up exponents so this is 5 plus 5 is 10 it's obviously a different way but as soon as your exponent here becomes too large that's going to be just too much work so rather just multiply your exponent the power exponent with the powers exponent okay that sounds confusing okay even to me let me do another one I have to think up this one because I want to show you something specific 4 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x. Okay, now these are different bases. Okay, it's impossible for me to simply go and cancel away and say 2 goes into itself once and into that one 
it goes twice and so the answer is 2 to the power of x okay um, it is well, it actually is but that, that's quite coincidental okay so let me show you what is the correct way of cancelling something because uh, this is not necessarily the the factor well what we'll need to do is we want same bases once we have same bases in this case we can subtract the exponents okay so that would would be great so what should we do with this above exponent or this ba this base above here let's make it um no okay that's i'm not going to do that either okay so what i can do is i can change four to two to the power of two Okay, but 4 was raised to the power x. So this is 4. That's the 4 raised to the power of x. I just wrote 4 as 2 squared. Now you can see I've got a base 2. In the denominator, I've got 2 to the power of x. And now what I can do is I can, for this step, I can multiply these two. So I've got 2 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of x and now since I've got same basis I may subtract the exponent so I may say this is 2 to the power 2x minus x and that does give me the answer 2 to the power of x but I do think I'm not 100% sure I do think it's quite coincidental uh, because you can't just cancel this go there once this goes there twice so I don't think that is why but uh, nevertheless let's leave that as it is and now let's do one more example okay so let's look at a weird one one you might not get but I'll, I'll do that how about 2 squared that's being squared that's being squared okay let's look at that one well, actually let's change this into a half squared to the power of negative 2 yeah that looks better okay so what might this answer be well let's go from the outside in so let's first assume that this is the base okay and oh, actually let's add another exponent here to the power of Two again okay so first let's get rid of the outside bracket we see inside this outside bracket let's actually do it in a different color so here's my outside bracket that's being squared here inside I've got a base and an exponent so what I'll do with that base exponent is I'll multiply it so here I've got two times two so now I've done that so I've got a half to the power of 2 and that whole thing is now to the power of negative 4 next I've got a base and exponent so I'll just repeat that once again so I've got a half all of this to the power of negative 8 now as soon as we work with negatives we know that we can use the reciprocal or um, that my fraction in that that has that exponent may tip so instead of having 1 over 2 I can have 2 over 1 but 2 over 1 is just 2 2 to the power of negative 8 and 2 to the power of negative 8 is equal to sorry not negative 8 8 2 to the power of 8 uh, because I tipped it my my negative exponent becomes positive 2 to the power of 8 is 256 okay now just from the beginning you could have done it right here from the beginning is you could have made this one here 2 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 negative 2 to the power of 2 so this is a different approach and now you can just since it's a power to a power to a power to a power you can just multiply all of those that's a half uh, sorry negative one times two is negative two times negative two is four times two is eight so this is two to the power of eight is equal to 256 cool let's leave this at that and i think there's one more rule left and i'll see you in that um that video a uh, very important law actually see you there